Lupus nephritis can be a complication of lupus, which causes the immune system to attack its own tissues and organs. When the immune system attacks your kidney tissue, it causes inflammation and can destroy parts of the kidney. It's common for children with lupus to develop nephritis, and kidney disease may even be the first sign of lupus. The treatment plan for pediatric lupus nephritis changes as children grow into adults. You've probably been with the same providers for a long time, so it's normal to feel nervous or sad about having a new medical team. But change doesn't have to be scary. Here are some things you should know. At a certain point, you may need to find new care providers. Ask your current provider for a referral to doctors working with adults. Check in often with both your new adult team and your previous pediatric team to make sure information is being shared and your concerns are being heard. You'll also want to make sure your new providers are covered by your insurance. It's really important to stick to your medicine routines and track your symptoms to prevent further damage to your kidneys. Your transition to adult care is probably happening at the same time as other major life events like graduating high school, college, or starting a new job. And that can be a lot. Your mental health is part of your physical health. Make sure you have the mental health resources you need. Parents and caregivers, this transition can be tough on you too. You want what's best for your child. Part of that means helping them understand their disease, be independent, and make their own decisions about their health care. Individually, caregivers and children should take time to think about what feelings are coming up as this transition approaches. As a family, make a plan for how you want the transition to go and write down your questions. And set aside time to do things that aren't related to the transition. For more information, visit kidneyfund.org lupus.